In this video, I'm going to look at securely wiping an internal drive using the Lenovo UFI BIOS. So I'm going to power up the Lenovo and I'm going to press F1 to enter the UFI BIOS setup. So I start on the main tab with system summary highlighted. So if I just press enter, then I can see the details about the drives installed. So I see I've got M2 drive one and it's the Samsung SSD. Okay, if I select escape, I just want to move over to the right until I get to startup. And then I want to have a look at the boot menu. And I can see that I've got a Ubuntu installation on M2 drive one. Okay, so in order to wipe a drive, I need to go back to the security tab. And the option isn't there directly, it's actually listed under hard disk password. And although it says hard disk, it applies to both a solid state drive and an internal hard drive. Now, unfortunately, in order to use this feature, a hard disk password needs to be set. So you have the option to set a user only password or a user and a master password. So I'm just going to go for the user only password and I'm going to make it very basic. It's just going to be the letter A in lowercase. So once I've set this password, I'm going to press F10 to save and exit. And basically now when the system boots, it's going to ask for the password in order to access the internal drive. So you'll have the option to either escape or to input the password and then select enter. Now there are some risks in setting a hard disk password. And if we go to the Lenovo website where it gives documentation about the master and user, hard disk password, it basically says if you've forgotten your password, then the only thing that can be done is to actually physically replace the hard drive as it's going to be encrypted on the firmware level and you'll not be able to use the disk ever again without the password. So like I said, there's a bit of a risk in setting a hard drive password. Now the feature is actually designed for enterprise use. So the reason there's a user password is the password's designed for the user and the master password will be the password used by the system administrator. So if you set a user and a master password, you're going to need to use the master password because you'll be the system administrator. And as a system administrator, only you will have the permissions to actually securely wipe the internal solid state drive. Okay, so I'm going to enter the password A and press enter. And as soon as I've done that, I'm going to press F1 and this will take me into the UFI BIOS setup again. So what I want to do now is go back to the security tab and then go back to hard disk password. And then highlight security arrays, HDD data, and this should be SSD. And then highlight arrays NVMe slot one data and press enter. You'll get a dialog box, select yes to confirm, and then input the password. So in this case, because only a user password was set, I'll input that. But if you had set a master password, you'd need to use that instead. So once you've input the password, it will wipe the drive. And then you'll need to select continue and press enter. So now the hard drive password will be removed. So you'll not be prompted to input it. But when you boot, you'll get this error, no operating system found, boot sequence will automatically repeat. And this is because your internal solid state drive has no operating system on it and is completely blank. So you'll need to install your operating system using a USB flash drive. Now I've made a tutorial video which demonstrates 
a clean installation of Ubuntu 2004 on a Lenovo system. And I've also got other tutorial videos on downloading a Windows 10 installation ISO, making Windows 10 installation media and performing a clean install on a system with a Lenovo UFI bias.